I'd like to do a quick update on some of the recent additions to the RR Tools Pro set. First off, be aware that I fixed various bugs and added some features and enhancements across the board, so be sure to look at the changelog in the RR Toolset documentation. In addition to these updates, there is a new tool, which might change the way that you animate in Lightwave. It is part of what I'm calling the Deploy and Destroy Animation Workflow. If you are familiar with the Translate and Rotate Average tools, you've already experienced the sheer power of Deploy and Destroy. It's the fundamental idea that rigs should be treated as a manipulation mode rather than a constraint. By creating and destroying rigs as needed, it produces less scene overhead yet still provides the same level of automation as you would expect from conventional rigging. It so happens that this is similar to the concept of IK Booster's entire rigging and animation workflow, and this tool that I've made basically adds interactive full-time IK to IK Booster. So how does it work? I'll use a simple three-bone chain for this example. Notice that there's animation present in the timeline and that I'm not at frame zero. Running the DD Rig tool, I suddenly have a fully functional IK chain. The chain is interpolated upon creation so that it only becomes active at the time where the playhead was positioned when the tool was run. I can of course keyframe the interpolation and adjust the orientation of the middle joint like so. But what's really cool is this widget setup. Instead of worrying about rotation orders and changing control schemes, the user can simply click drag these handles or the goal itself to move and rotate the goal object at the same time, even if you're working diagonally. You can also use IK Booster's fix command for pivoting movements like this. Aside from that, one of the main reasons I made this tool concerns interactions. The current IK Booster workflows in place require you to manually and sometimes repeatedly bake the character's part-time IK, so the editing process lacks interactivity and ease of editing. With this deploy and destroy rig setup, I can add full-time IK to IK Booster without losing IK Booster's flexibility. If I want this limb to follow and orient along with this box, all I have to do is use the grabber tool on the goal object like so done. So long story short, what I'm creating here isn't just a random set of separate functions, but rather a series of tools all designed to work together. If you experiment with the synergy factor between these tools, I think you'll be quite surprised with all the possibilities that exist. Thank you for watching and be certain to update to the latest version of the RR Tools Pro set at liberty3d.com.